With respect to uh, uh, the, the, the response of the Latin American countries, uh, all appropriate countries have been notified uh, with respect to the status, uh, his status legally, uh, and um, uh, that is the appropriate step to take, to put them on notice that uh, he is an indicted fellow, he is an indicted individual, indicted with three felony counts, uh, and that he is wanted by the legal process of the United States, and those countries are now on notice about that. Now, historically, we've always known there are some countries that play outside of that process, and we don't know specifically uh, where he may head or what, what uh, his intended uh, destination may be. With respect to his passport, uh, you have to, first of all, have the notification of the indictment, and then, obviously, after the indictment, the process cuts in. I don't know precisely when the order was uh, uh, received, but I do know that at the time, uh, apparently at the time, we, we, we are waiting actually for confirmation of that. Uh, we don't know whether he traveled under that passport or another passport. We just don't know all the details yet. So I'm waiting to get those details, and obviously I'm a long way from there. I was in touch with the White House last night and with the State Department. Uh, we do have officials at the State Department. Bill Burns has been in touch with the Russians uh, directly, and uh, uh, they are on notice with respect to our desires. But um, with respect to the China-Russia relationship and where this puts us, um, you know, it would be deeply troubling, obviously, if they have adequate notice and notwithstanding that, they make a decision willfully to ignore that and not live by the standards of the law. There is a surrender treaty uh, with Hong Kong, uh, and if there was adequate notice, I don't know yet what the communication status was, but if there was, it would be very disappointing if he was willfully allowed to board a, uh, an airplane uh, as a result, and there would be, uh, uh, without any question, uh, some effect and impact uh, on the relationship and consequences. With respect to uh, Russia, uh, likewise, uh, I, I, you know, uh, again, don't know fully yet the determinations or where they're heading, but I would urge them to uh, live by the standards of the law because that's in the interests of everybody. In the last two years, we have transferred seven prisoners to Russia that they wanted. So I think uh, reciprocity in the enforcement of the law is pretty important. And I suppose there's no small irony here. Uh, I mean, I wonder if uh, Mr. Snowden chose uh, China and Russia as assistants in his, you know, in his uh, uh, flight from justice because they're such powerful bastions of internet freedom. And I wonder if while he was in either of those countries, he raised the questions of internet freedom, since that seems to be what he champions. But evidently, uh, he places himself above the law, uh, having betrayed his country with respect to the violation of his oath. And uh, I think there are very serious implications in that. So we obviously hope countries will live by the standards of the law. When they don't, they invite other countries to break those standards. And I think it's a, a very serious uh, uh, question for all of us in our relationships.